everyone, Finity here from Reality Skewed Gamers, and we are getting ready to have a breakfast culinary treat on this video. Hey everyone, Finity from Reality Skewed Gamers here, and welcome to an episode of Finity Eats. Now, normally you see me inside this virtual kitchen cooking food virtually for you on Twitch. Oh, the, holy crap! <laughs> It's a wood floor that lit on fire. But today I have a special treat for you. Finity Eats is gonna be where I bring real food into my virtual kitchen and taste it for you so you know whether or not you should get it or not. But Finn has a little bit of a sweet tooth, so take my advice as you will. That liver's gotta come out. What? It's been in the microwave for three minutes. It'll get dry. Before we get to that, I am always open to more suggestions on what you would like me to bring into my virtual kitchen. So head down to the comments down below. Let me know what different foods you would like me to try. And you may see it on one of the Finity Eat episodes coming up. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified whenever a new RSG video or stream has gone live. So we are trying not only one, but two different things and trying it out as a combo. So what we're gonna try first is the new Krispy Kreme Oreo donut, but it was an adventure in and of itself to get this donut. Now I am on my way to go order the breakfast treats. A two of the Oreo over the top donuts? Oh, you don't have any of those? No. Oh, okay. Um, that's okay then, thank you. Well, that was a fail. So I am off to Krispy Kreme number two, which is about 10 miles away now. So we will see whether or not this will result in some Oreo Krispy Kremes or not. Hi, do you have the uh, over the top Oreo cookie? Over the top? Yeah. We do? Okay. Uh, could you, uh, I wanted a half dozen uh, with two over the top uh, Oreo cookies. Now this is a new type of Krispy Kreme donut. It is not the one I'm typically used to. I think most of us are used to the original glaze, the one that, well, typically, I will finish in one bite. <laughs> and wash down with a glass of milk. <laughs> But this time I have a different drink that I'm gonna be drinking. It is the Wendy's Frostachino vanilla flavor. So these are the two items that I will be trying today and trying out in a combo. So we're gonna try out the donut first. Now I have had a Wendy's Frostachino before and I can tell you, I do remember the vanilla being definitely better than the chocolate. So if you're going that route, I would suggest the vanilla, but we are trying it out in a combo today. Can the Wendy's Frostachino be a good drink to wash down your Krispy Kreme Oreo donut? Mmm, donut. So let's start with the Oreo donut. Again, I have that right here. We will take a look at it because it is a interesting specimen, just all together. It is an interesting donut. So when you look at this donut, it basically was somebody looking at an Oreo cookie, enlarging it, and then deciding, you know what? I don't want the Oreo on the bottom as well. What can I replace the bottom of the Oreo with? Hmm. Mmm, donut. And in fact, they replaced it with a Krispy Kreme donut. And not just a Krispy Kreme donut, a chocolate Krispy Kreme donut. And from what I can tell on this side of the Krispy Kreme donut, it is a chocolate covered. It is not a chocolate donut. It has chocolate frosting or icing on top of it to surround the Krispy Kreme followed by the Oreo. Now this one, I don't think I will be able to eat in one bite like I typically do. So this will be kind of interesting to see how this works out. So let's go ahead and take the first bite of this Oreo Krispy Kreme donut. Okay, 
Okay, I may or may not be addicted to this donut now. The way it works is that you have the crunchy kind of Oreo top followed by the cream. Now the cream in this one is kind of a mix, like a cookies and creamy type of cream. Works out really well. And when you bite from the bottom and you squish that Krispy Kreme, it almost creates the same consistency as that Oreo top. I, I, I kind of feel like I love this donut now. So based on that, I think you can tell I was a pretty big fan of that donut. Now comes the second part, which is, does this wash down better with the Frostuccino than it does milk? So I have my Wendy's Frostuccino going here, and we are going to try this out right now and see whether or not this is in fact better than milk in order to wash down the Oreo Krispy Kreme donut. So I have to say, I do like this combination. The vanilla from the Frostuccino works really well with the Krispy Kreme and you get that little cappuccino caffeine boost to go along with the sugar. If you are starting off your day with this, I think you'll be able to make it until about 11 a.m. without having to get a sugar crash. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually delicious. It is a great combo, but I'm not gonna lie. Do be careful with the amount of sugar that this thing has because a sugar crash is pretty eminent as soon as you have this. So overall, the way that I would rate this combo is that I would give the donut four noms out of five, and I would give the combination also four noms out of five. So overall, I think this was a really great combination. I think I'm still a fan of the original Krispy Kreme and the cream-filled Krispy Kreme donut, but this one was actually quite good. It hit the spot today, especially since I was craving it. And don't forget, this Krispy Kreme donut is only available for two weeks from when it was launched. So if you guys are interested in getting that Oreo donut, make sure you get it now. So with that, I am Finity with Reality Skewed Gamers. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this episode of Fin Eats. Please make sure to check out some of the links on the screen here and check out our other content. Make sure you subscribe, leave comments down below, and of course, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And with that, I am Finity with Reality Skewed Gamers, signing out. Take care, guys.